Welcome to the School Bus Safety Company, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you for investing the next three minutes to potentially save the life of an innocent child. As you know, school buses make news. That's an understatement. Here are just a few headlines we collected this year from across the country. These headlines show the sensational news potential for anything to do with school buses. But surely things aren't as bad as these headlines shout. But wait a second, I said they happened this year, and that's true. But that was my second understatement. In fact, these national headlines all appeared on the very same day, September 9th, 2009. And that's not unusual. You may be surprised to learn just how many school bus accidents there really are. The National Transportation Safety Board reports that there are 144 school bus accidents daily. That's 26,000 per year in just 180 days of school. Fortunately, most involve only property damage, but some are far more tragic. Last year, 26 students were killed and another 9,000 injured in incidents involving school buses. Pediatrics Magazine reported that in just a three-year period of time, there were 51,100 school bus-related injuries that resulted in treatment in a U.S. emergency room. But these are just statistics. We really care about the kids, their families, and the emotional toll these incidents take on both them and your drivers. It inspires us to do everything we can to ensure the safety of the kids, your employees, and, if truth be known, all of the other drivers, passengers, and pedestrians out on the road. The good news is that accidents don't have to happen. Accidents are caused. They aren't acts of God, or fate, or chance events. They're not the result of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. They're caused, and they're caused by driver behavior. That's a fancy way of saying most accidents are caused by driver mistakes. But where does everyone focus? Across this country, every state has rules and regulations governing school buses, but most of them deal with the bus and state laws rather than the driver. Mandatory inspections are a regular practice, and even though several states mandate driver training, it rarely focuses on the specific behaviors that lead to accidents. Think about it. How often do you have a bus accident because of things like brake failures or tire blowouts? Probably never, and that's good. But still, we have all those accidents caused by driver behaviors. Behaviors like following too closely, backing without looking, not counting the kids away, or not using the rock and roll procedure at an intersection to eliminate the blind spots. Maybe you're thinking, my drivers are really quite good, and bad stuff never really happens around here. Maybe so, but I'll bet it's exactly what every superintendent and transportation manager said the week before they became one of those headlines. Look. I'm sure you're doing lots of things right, but that's not the question. The question is, are you doing everything you can to keep the kids safe? What can you start doing tomorrow to teach your drivers how to be even better than they already are? What can you do to avoid even the possibility of ever becoming a headline? We can help. We exist to help you make the kids safer. And it all begins with the driver training course. It's brand new, it's remarkable, and it really works. That's why it's the very first ever recommended product of the NAPT. It's also why the Public School Risk Institute recommends its use at all districts. It's modular so that it can be used for new driver training, in-service education, recertification, and even remedial training. School districts across the country are now using it and have great things to say about it. And that is my third understatement. Why not learn more? Please, don't become a headline. Give us a call and find out what you can do to make the kids safer at your district.